And in this video, I want to talk about irritable bowel syndrome or IBS. I'll go over the best supplements, natural treatments, including supplements, vitamins, minerals, or diets. And I've literally treated hundreds of patients with IBS and I've gone through and seen the results of each one of them. So pay close attention to what I'm about to say. I guarantee if you follow my tips, you'll see results really fast, okay? Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. And before we move into today's topic, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe below. I publish videos regularly on how to cure your disease naturally and effectively. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Okay, so first, what is irritable bowel syndrome, okay, or IBS? IBS is caused by inflammation in your gut generally causes severe symptoms such as diarrhea or ulceration in your digestive tract. This illness can be often be related to a number of other health conditions including ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, or leaky gut syndrome, okay? The amount of people who now struggle with IBS in its form worldwide is a shocking 15%. And in the US, it's about 20%, okay? So it's, it's a serious problem. And first, Let's start off with the best supplements for IBS. The first item on my list is a good quality supplement containing transfer factor and colostrum, okay? Transfer factor is a supplement derived from early human breast milk, okay, or colostrum, or fertilized eggs, and its function is to re-educate immune cells in your body, and it's great. I've used transfer factor with a variety of diseases in my patients, including IBS, and it's awesome. I cannot stress enough how much it can help you out, okay? If you need a good transfer factor, check out my webpage. The second supplement on my list is a good probiotic supplement, okay? Uh, probiotics can help recolonize the gut with healthy bacteria, and at the same time, help your immune cells re-educate their priorities, okay? And not, not be doing other stuff out there. Number three is chemotrypsin, okay? Or good quality uh, digestive enzymes uh, 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 formula, okay? And don't forget irritable bowel syndrome, your intestines have a really hard time digesting food, so that's for, that's for that. Number four, aloe vera juice, okay? Aloe vera has uh, healing properties for many uh, tissues in your body, and one of them is your digestive tract. So go ahead and drink half a cup of aloe vera juice two times a day. Number five is L-glutamine, okay? L-glutamine, remember, uh, helps your gut cope with inflammation. It's an anti-inflammatory amino acid. And my fifth and last supplement is a good quality organic capsule that contains fish oil, about a thousand milligrams a day. All right, guys, let's talk about a very important topic, another one, food you should be avoiding at all costs in your treatment for IBS. Okay, this is very, very important. And remember, what we want to achieve with IBS is uh, make your digestive tract stop feeling irritated with the foods you're eating, okay? So let's go over a little bit of these, uh, a couple of these. Okay, so number one food you should avoid are conventional dairy products, okay? Hundreds of studies have been done worldwide, uh, worldwide, sorry, and they outweigh, to outweigh the pros and cons of milk consumption. And the truth is milk is more harmful than previously thought. And the reason is simple, you know, cow milk is not originally made by nature to feed humans, okay? Especially when you're a full-grown adult, okay? Most people lack the enzymes needed to digest lactose, so stay away from dairy products. Dairy products cause inflammation in your gut and will make your uh, IBS even worse, okay? Number two, spicy foods, okay? It's a no-brainer, you guys. One food, your digestive tract feels offended when you ingest is spicy food. So spicy foods will only make your uh, peristalsis even worse and quicker and you know, you're gonna go through diarrhea and worsen your IBS symptoms. My third food to stay away from is gluten and processed grains, okay? Again, studies have shown that gluten is sensitive in most of the population now. Uh, there are many intestinal diseases worsening with gluten ingestion and they get way better when people remove it from their diet. So give it a try, remove wheat, processed grains, okay? Uh, for at least for a month. Number four is a wide group of foods that may contain any potential allergen, okay? These can vary from person to person. Diarrhea is a result of these allergies and they worsen IBS symptoms, okay? So uh, some common food al allergens may be uh, nuts, you know, uh, shellfish, dairy, refined sugars, or even colorings in sports drinks, colas, okay? So pay attention to what you're consuming and read your labels. Stay away from products that contain processed grains, food colorings or industrialized sugars like sucralose, etc. All right guys, so let's move on to talk about foods you can consume 
to reduce IBS, okay? This is the other side of the coin, okay? A study written by the British Journal of, uh, Medical Journal found that fiber, antispasmodics, and peppermint, peppermint oil were, uh, were gonna help IBS, and they, they help IBS enormously, okay? It smooths, smooths down the muscles in your digestive tract, stops bloating, gas, pain, or intestinal cramps, and peppermint has also uh, been shown to help out and, and soothe out uh, irritability in your in your gut. Okay, my second food is flaxseed. Flaxseeds have the dietary fibers that help your body send out waste quickly and smoothly. They have also lots of omega-3 essential fatty acids and help your immune system and digestive tract. Okay, and for these reasons, flaxseeds are great for treating constipation and diarrhea. Take a tablespoon of freshly ground, you know, flaxseed with uh, daily water a, uh, every day. And two other foods you can consume are fennel seeds and ginger, okay? Fennel seeds can stop intestinal spasms and bloating that come with IBS, and ginger can also lower the swelling in your intestines and loosen up intestinal muscles. Okay? All right, guys, this is not all the information about IBS, you know? Uh, the truth is there's a lot more to it than this, you know, eating plans, habits, symptoms, and natural cures, etc. So. If you, can, if you want, you can check out my webpage for, the, for more information on the subject. I'm also coming up with natural organic formulas and supplements that can help out uh, with your specific disease. If you need any information, go and visit drlandivar.com. And don't forget to subscribe below. I have many more videos coming your way on how to treat your disease naturally. I'll also let you guys know when I'll be attending consultations nationally or internationally. I have fabulous diagnostic equipment in natural medicine on specific needs for my patients, okay? So this is very important. Or you can schedule an online appointment, that's, that's okay too. If there's anything you need, visit drlandivar.com or check out the information posted below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.